I'm not the traditional outdoorsy person. Like I like hiking, but I'm like, I'm not like a hardcore hiker. I'm not a hardcore camper. I'm very glamping kind of person. And although I don't identify as that type of person, I think it didn't really matter to me because I found interest in just the subject of like science and the subject of the environment. Whenever I just went out in nature, I always had like a good feeling and I, I wanted my work to continue to give me that. I didn't want my work to not feel good. And so I think that's what really like led me to this path. I get a lot of like inspiration from the youth that really come to our program. You know, they're coming from different backgrounds. They're immigrants and refugees. So they're really coming new to America. And so I'm learning a lot about their culture and, and I'm sharing a lot about my culture. And so that's really great to interact with them in that way. Um, another thing is that like a pro with this job, we really focus on ecological restoration. And so that's removing invasive species and planting native plants. And because it's something that is so like tangible, like you can see a before and after photo, it feels like really good and type of work that you feel like you're really making a positive impact uh, on the environment and in the parks that are, you know, in our neighborhoods. Some cons I would say with my role is as a program manager, I find myself um, really juggling different kinds of priorities in your and time. So at times, work can feel very fast paced, and you really have to be like flexible and like adaptable to the different circumstances. It can be a little bit stressful at times, but I think because the work is so it feels good, it makes it worth it. Another con I would say, especially our youth have experienced this, is that because we're outside, we are very subject to um, the weather. And so if the weather is not very nice to us that day, we're still going to be out there. We're like, yeah, we could still plant in the rain. Like the, the rain is so good for the plants. Uh, there was a program called Outdoor School where they would take all the sixth graders in Portland out to to like basically it's like a summer camp but like in the middle of the school year and they would like teach us like different sciencey things and you do art very like summer campy stuff in the middle of like the woods from then on that really like sparked my interest in nature I like completely forgot about it in like high school like I was just uh you know just going to school I still was, wasn't sure what I wanted to do Uh, when I graduated high school, I pursued my uh, associate's degree at a local community college. And from there, I was like, oh, environmental science sounds really cool. So then I I signed up for that class. I took it. I loved it. I'm going to I'm totally going to major in this. And so that environmental science class really like changed the course of my like, I guess, career uh, trajectory because that's what I like based my four-year degree on. So I transferred to San Francisco State University. I got a bachelor's in environmental science and that kind of really led me to my pathway as a environmental program manager. I had a, a variety of experiences. What really changed was when I took a AmeriCorps position uh, for 10 and a half months, I did a, an AmeriCorps position here in Seattle, where I really first learned about like restoration, and I helped lead uh, volunteer events uh, with, with just the community members or with like groups out here. And I was like, wow, this is a really cool work. And I was like, I wonder if I can make a career out of this. I know that I know everyone says this, but networking is a very big thing. Like I wouldn't be in my job right now because without my the network that uh, I have. And so just talking to as much people as possible in the kinds of organizations that you're interested in, I think is uh, really important. And so and then when you like interact with them and you have good relationships with them and you show that like you're capable and you have 
uh, good work habits and work ethic, I think they they kind of reach out and be like, hey, there's a position available. Are you interested? That's what kind of really happened to me um, when I was doing an internship. Um, folks would like send me job descriptions because uh, they were like, hey, I think you'd be a good fit. Just get out there to the local events. And like the more that you go, the more they'll like recognize you that you're like out here in the community. I really want to just encourage folks to get out there and really learn, even if you feel like um, environmental field is not for you. I think it doesn't hurt to try it out and see the different pathways it can take you. And I feel like a lot of folks have mentioned to me that like the nature is so healing to them. And so like, even if it's not a job for you, I highly encourage like enjoying nature however you can, wherever you live. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs>